Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the program permutation and combination. So this program is basically based on the factorial function. So you all know what is a factorial function, factorial of any number is for example n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 etc up to 1 ok. So that is the formula for factorial and now this uh, permutation and combination uh, sum is totally based upon the factorial formula ok. So now, now first let us see what is first permutation and combination and then we will get into what is the formula for permutation and combination and then let us uh, find out how the program is going to calculate the permutation and the combination ok. So now this is the formula for permutation this is mathematically it is given by p of n comma r as n p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial. So as the programming part what you have to do we have to get the n and the r value through the input fun input uh, statement and this has to be calculated by n factorial by n minus r factorial. Now what is the formula for combination is this is actually denoted by mathematically c of n comma r or n c r and then the formula for this is n factorial by n r factorial into n minus r factorial. So now this is the formula for both the permutation and combination. Now let us see how the program works for this permutation and combination. So here as we know that this program is mainly based upon the factorial function. So we have to define one fu function called factorial function. We all know what is a function. Function is a set of instruction that is going to do the re task repeatedly, same set of task repeatedly that is the per that is the purpose of the function ok. So now here, here I have divided this program into three different parts. This is the first part having the main program and this is the second part having the NCR and the NPR calculation and that is the third part which calculates the factorial of the function. Just for clarification I divided the program into three different parts ok. Let us see one by one from the beginning which is the main function. So here this is the concept of called global function. What is global function is the function which is declared, this is called function declaration. What is function declaration is giving the name of the function along with its parameters that is called as a function definition ok. Function you are actually this is function declaration they are just we are declaring the function how you declare integer n comma r how we declare long ncr npr how we declare the variables we can also declare the functions this is called as function declaration so declaration is giving the type as well as the type of the parameters the variable inside the function is called as a parameters or arguments. This function factorial has one parameter, this has two parameters and this has two parameters all are of integer type and here the function return value is long type. What is long type is the long integer that means the, the integer value can hold up to some values but when you find the factorial the sometimes the the for the factorial for big numbers goes to bigger values in that case we have to use the long as the integer type long type ok. Now these three functions are declared before the main function so they are called as a global function that means this function can be used by any other function in the other programs and then now coming to the integer main part into main main function starts now we are in all the things whether it is NPR or NCR we need always the N or the R value. So we have to first declare the integer N and the R value and then declare the long NCR NPR. After calculation we may get the long NPR or NCR values and that is declared as long and now we have to get the input value. So which is the input value we have to get the input values you have to get the n and the r value so percentage d percentage d am ambassan n and ambassan r to get the values of n and r using the scan of function ok. Now here we are making here this is called function call as we know that when the function name comes that is called as a function call. Here find ncr is one function which is going to find the combination and npr is the next function which is going to find out the 
permutation and this both the functions uh, ncr and npr repeatedly called the factorial function because the formula consists of n factorial r factor and n minus r factorial okay so now so this is the formula for ncr so ncr is equal to n ncr of n comma r that means this will find the function using the ncr function and npr value is obtained by after calculating the npr function using this find npr function okay so after finding the npr value the n value r value and the ncr value as and also n value r when npr all r values will be printed in the main function and then we have return 0 is there and we have to close the main brace okay so this is the abstract main function which just get the value n comma and r and print the value ncr and npr and the function is calculated using the function call find ncr and find npr now let us get into detail how this ncr and the npr works so coming to the next part of the program so now here the function is defined definition means we are giving all the statements of the function that is called as a function definition okay so long function name is find underscore n in ncr when we whenever you want to give some uh, name of the function as uh, like uh, uh, first word and the second word they can be combined by the underscore for clarification okay this is the only thing which is allowed in the naming of the variable so long find ncr and then what are all the inputs n and r so int n int r the program starts by the open brace the function starts and then the whatever the value will be return into result okay so result is equal to factorial of n by factorial of r into factorial of n minus r because the formula for the factorial is n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial this is actually uh, shown uh, by the this is actually uh, shown by the formula over here which is like here this is n factorial r factorial and n minus r factorial and then return the result this will return the result from the ncr function same way NPR function also gets the values as inputs as n and r are the parameters open the brace long result and what is the result is factorial of n divided by factorial of n minus r why because the formula for n p r is n factorial by n minus r factorial so this is done by here factorial of n and factorial of n minus r and return result so both the function will return the result to the main function okay so the definition of ncr and this is the definition of npr now we can see this is the function called factorial 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 is called many times in this program so factorial is a separate function which is actually returned as a uh, using to calculate the factorial value so going to the next part of the program factorial of n so this is really this actually find out the factorial of n so how it does actually the factorial formula is n factorial means n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 etc up to 3 into 2 into 1 for example if i want to calculate the factorial of 5 i have to the answer is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this is what done by this program okay so how it is done the program starts by the the, the prototype this is called function prototype and then it opens and then integer c c is the value return c is the uh, actually the increment variable used this is the variable used in the function c in order to get the increment as 1 2 3 4 and so on and result initially is equal to 1 and then for c is equal to 1 c less than n c plus plus that means this for loop is a simple for loop which rotates for n number of times to multiply the values by the previous answer for example if i give answer is 5 means it will calculate 1 into 2 and then 1 into 2 is 2 so 2 into 3 2 into 3 is 6 then 6 into 4 then it is 24 then 24 into 5 is 120 so like this the factorial value is calculated by this for loop and that answer result to the result uh, return to the function which is calling okay so now every time so this is the factorial real factorial that calculates the factorial value and then whenever this function is called so whenever this factorial n is called n is passed and n factorial is find out and then when uh, factorial of r is called this is passed to the program and r factorial is found out and then n minus r this is passed and on 
n minus r is found out. For example, for example, I am giving as 5 and 3, factorial of 5 is found out by the factorial program. Then it will come to this program and then factorial of 3 is come found by this part of the program. Then it will calculate and then this is 5, this is 3 for example. So now 5 minus 3 is 2. So factorial of 2 is again the function is called. So whenever the function factorial name is called, it is passed to this real function, factorial function and the answer is calculated and returned back to the function which is calling. So like this, the NPR and the NCR values are calculated. I have shown the output of the program just I have given the value for n and r as 4 and 3 so 4 c 3 is actually 4 we can calculate you can check the answer by checking as this is equal to actually 4 factorial divided by 4 3 uh, 3 factorial into 4 minus 3 factorial which is 1 factorial likewise what is uh, 4 p 3 is n factorial by r factorial that means 4 factorial by 3 factorial so this is how the function calculates the factorial using the factorial this function calculates the permutation and the combination values hope you understood the logic of this program and thanks for watching